<laughs> um, I just wanted to shout out, last weekend there was a pre-Mother's Day brunch hosted by Mending Hearts at the PAL of Wilmington. And it honored mothers who lost children to gun violence. And County Council Members Michelle Harley, Shanae Darby, and County Exec Matt Meyer attended. I just want to say that is absolutely beautiful because these mothers, you know, I feel like there isn't enough talked about in the aftermath of these these deaths that have in the, the violence that's happening around the city. And I feel like a lot of these mothers are being left behind. And that trauma stays with you. So the fact that they were acknowledged at a pre-Mother's Day brunch was beautiful. So let's continue that support. When you hear about these shootings and you know someone who knows yeah. someone, you know, who knows this family or you know them directly, continue to reach out, send them love, send them support and, and be there for them because they're hurting. And uh, honestly, listen, let's figure out ways to solve this problem. And I'm going to go here for a minute. I'm sorry. Okay. But, uh, you know, there's an article, uh, I think it was definitely on WDEL, and I think it was also on the New Journal, where Mayor Przicki said that we don't have a roadmap for fixing the problems. And quite frankly... You got, you're talking to the wrong people. Quite frankly, um, there are roadmaps. Yeah, no, is, we don't yes. have a specific one that's happened here in Delaware because we're in uncharted territories. But there are literally... And this is also in terms of police reform. There are cities that are five, six, like way larger than us who are solving these problems. If you just go up to New York and Harlem, uh, 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 Jeffrey Canada, you know, this is almost uh, 10 years ago. He's been, he, he played a role in fixing problems there. There's so much going on in like Newark, New Jersey right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there are places that are solving these problems. And all you have to do, honestly, is part of the solution is you can, you can reach out to these people, you know, cause you're the mayor. And, and, and find out what's working. It's really not that difficult. And I know, you know... With the amount of people that we have working in the com community now, like, I mean, even with 302 Guns Down, the Cultural Restoration Project, all of these organizations are working on bettering the, our community for our people. Reach out to the people in the community and say, what can we do? What resources do you need? Instead of building high-rises, instead of building, you know, a park over 95 that's like, not needed. There are things that y'all can focus on and people you can talk to that will help us solve these problems. And, you know, because so you're absolutely right. Like, listen. You should be a pre-Mother's Day brunch for mothers losing their children to gun violence. I am all for a park above 95 and looks beautiful, so on and so forth. But if that's going to cost $2 million and I could instead. And we need that. We need new books. And instead I could. How, for how many years? Could we employ how many youth between the ages of 14 and 18 with $2 million? How many programs and can we set up to get them from school to college, from school to a trade? How many people can we employ to be there for these kids when they and, need help? And, and that is my one of my fundamental frustrations with Delaware. Because, you know, in so many ways we, we often hear that there's no money. But there is money. Oh, there's People money. People here have so much money. And for some reason, I don't know why, and I'm going to say this, they, the people who hold this money, the people who are in charge of this money feel like it's their own. Almost like, like they, it's, it's come out of their account. No, this money is for the community. It is for the city and the people who live here. It is not yours. I'm sure that uh, if we reached out to all our constituents <laughs> and said, hey guys, would you rather spend millions of dollars on a park that looks beautiful and all that kind of stuff over 95 to heal the wounds mm -hmm. of, you know, all right. that happened? And, no, or would you rather like employ these young people so that right. they don't have to, you know, go in, a, in an illegal direction mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to make money? Because, you know, listen, I work with, with some of the most difficult young people in the city. I've done it for five years with, with, this, with my current program. And every single time, one of the first things that they say to me is like, yo, Mr. Street, I need to work. That's the bottom line. You know what I'm saying? Like they need to work. So if we're talking about fixing these problems, these children need to be able to have gainful employment mm -hmm. and activities. So please, 
once we fix the problem with these young babies shooting each other, then we can talk about something pretty over 95. Like, we don't, we don't get to, never mind. It's just James, basic prioritization. James says, what about restoration of our city neighborhoods? And my students need that. We need programs, funds, and resources for these underperforming schools. Alternative yes. ed needs funding, too. Yes. Like, um, yes. we should be, yes. our city Alternative officials ed needs the that funding. we selected should be focused on our youth and our communities, the ones who, the ones who voted them. No, no, in. no. The, the, the. Yes, you got. But here's the fundamental part of it, and I think it's such an interesting. Like you kind of see the problem. Okay, I'm gonna pull it back in. But the bottom line is this: the people who have the least need the most. Yep. I can say that with ease because. I'm a child who came up with the most. I'm a private school kid. I understand, you know, I all I understand is beautiful facilities and the latest technology. And obviously that benefited me. But at a certain point, it's like, why do you get to have all of the best athletic trainers if you're already in shape and we need these guys over here to get in shape? You mm -hmm. understand? It's the same, it's the same thought. If you have a kid who has nothing. Obviously, you have to put more energy into pulling him this way than the other kids. So the kids who have the least need the most. And it's this weird thing where it's like, I'm paying my taxes and I want my tax money to go, you know, for, for the good. Yeah, okay, good. But let's, let's think a little bit, just like with the gas thing. It's like, oh, you know, God. like think a little bit outside of you and yours. You know what I mean? Like think just a little bit past mm -hmm. your own circumstances and, and you wanting to get your piece of the pie when you're probably doing reasonably well. Yes. The people yes. who have the least need, need the, the most. most. We'll stop there. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Woo! I mean, I am in a good mood, you know? Ooh. It's a Friday. I got my dog fish head vodka my lemonade. My afro was getting I, a little big. I stole this from my <laughs> wife. This is actually the stuff that she drinks, you know, but I'm, I'm just going to enjoy this little this little uh, light and fruity beverage on my lunch, oh, you know what I'm goodness. saying? Shout out to Dogfish Head. <laughs> if you want to sponsor us, Dogfish Head, you know. It, it, we, Are they we, from Delaware?